Tegelen 2011, Marcus Malone is next to me. Marcus, you went on stage and it's about an hour ago. How are you feeling now? I feel fantastic. The sun's shining. Where else is it better to be except in the Netherlands right now? In the Netherlands? Well, you uh, you have found your way now in the Netherlands. How was the audience reacting to your show? Absolutely fantastic. Great audience tonight. Or this afternoon, I should say. <laughs> this afternoon. Hey, you said to me, um, I can choose between a rock show and a bluesier show. And you were afraid it was too rocky, but it's called the Blues Rock Festival. Just don't be afraid of that. Oh, I'm not afraid, but I think some <laughs> people are. <laughs> but uh, it was a good show. I enjoyed myself. Uh, we had Mike Caswell on guitar today, and uh, he's played with some a lot of great musicians, and he's more a bit more rockier than the normal guitar player who is away doing his own thing at the moment. What's your approach if you do a festival like this? How you can approach this festival? Do you uh, sitting in the dressing room, I'm gonna play this today, or do you have a uh, scripted out no. before you leave? It was already decided. I knew exactly <laughs> what I was gonna do, and I just stick to the program. Um, Holland, you've been a couple of times over here, and uh, you, well, you, first of all, you're living in England, but you're original from the USA. Yes, I'm from Detroit, Michigan, Motown, uh, home of the Ford Motor Company and Chrysler. And are, there, are there still motor companies in Detroit? Uh, not really. <laughs> There's not much in Detroit, period. It's, it's a bit wiped out, man. Yeah, it's a shame, but it is. How do you came in England? What, what, what brought you there? Well, I had a woman. <laughs> she treated me bad. <laughs> Love. So uh, anyway, she came over and uh, I came over here with her to remarry and she left me here all alone uh, and blue. Well, that's a great opportunity to, to write some good blues then. Oh, I sure did. <laughs> Heartbreak kid. Uh, You're over it now? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Hey, were you, um, I read uh, in your body that you're original, more like a hot rock guy. What, what take you, well, brought you to the other camp? The blues can. Oh, uh, we still pray pretty hard, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't do metal anymore per se. Uh, what, uh, what would you call it? Uh, gothic or prog rock? I would say I started off in a prog rock area, like Yes and that sort of thing, back in the '70s, late '70s, early '80s. But uh, yeah, my head's not there anymore. I'm into just writing songs, good songs, and some of them come out rockier than others, and some of them come out a bit more solely. And, you know, that's the way it is. What's first, the language of the song, of the music? Oh, uh, it, it all happens. The lyrics of the music, yes. or the music, that's uh, A lot I of times I come up with a lyric first, like uh, I was uh, riding on my bike, uh, not my bike, but uh, after the gym one day, I came down the road, I saw this beautiful girl shaped like that, and I said, oh, how'd she get all that love into that dress? <laughs> so I went home and I wrote all that love. And sometimes I'll be sitting down in my studio. I write a little bit every day. It's, it's like a job. You got to do a little bit every day. And sometimes I'll just sit down and come up with a lick, and then I'll come up with the words. But primarily, it's usually the lyrics. It's not only rock that you, you played. It's all a lot of soul in the voice. Because mm. of the, oh, thank the, you. Uh, are you influenced by something, somebody particular? Ooh, I love Otis Redding. I love Hendrix. Uh, Believe it or not, I used to wear a Bowie hairstyle, if you can imagine it. <laughs> I love David Bowie uh, and James Brown. Uh, it's a mixture. I, I come from Detroit, which is, uh, Detroit was a melting pot of music. It wasn't just Motown. It was everything. You had Iggy Pop, you had uh, MC5, you had just everything. Soul and Motown. And I grew up with all those various influences, and I kind of went from one to the other. And if you listen to my records, they kind of go <laughs> from one to the other. <laughs> that's indeed, so, that's true. But yeah. I'm figuring that you're not happy about that people put you in a blues box. Uh, well, that's what they want to do. <laughs> as long as they're not shocked when they come to see me, and they go, well, he's not going dun 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 dun. <laughs> but, what are your plans for uh, Holland or maybe the, the rest of uh, Europe? Holland, uh, well, we're doing pretty good here. We're getting a bit of airplay, selling some records. Uh, what we want to do now is move into Scandinavia and Germany. So we're planning uh, a release in Scandinavia and then uh, follow closely by Germany. What is the best blues lyric you ever wrote? Greatest blues lyric? The Duh. one that you're still proud of and can say on the video for us. <laughs>
<laughs> well, <laughs> double D, double D, a double D light, double D, double D, she doubles me right, double D, double D, a double D love tonight, yeah. <laughs> and that's a clean version. <laughs> yeah, that's very clean, very clean. <laughs> um, I'm going to thank you for this interview. And I hope to see you back live again, some, some stage somewhere in Holland or Europe. Thank you very much. And I sure hope to make it back. Okay, we will. Thank you very much.